It's safe to say that Fallout 3 is one of the most anticipated games of the year. Ever since Bethesda announced it as their main project after the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, fans of all sorts have been clamoring like mole rats for any info. Well, Fallout has finally hit, and it has hit hard. So hard that it just might live up to the massive hype surrounding it. First off, let's get one thing straight. This game is not just Oblivion with guns. The RPG elements are quite different. You can't just do repetitive actions like swimming in a corner for hours and expect to level up. The system is much more conventional, and based on gaining experience through combat, quests, and the like. The leveling system is pretty standard and works well. When you gain a level, you can assign points to different abilities. You can also choose perks, which add awesome upgrades like the ability to explode dudes with minimal efforts. It's a very flexible system that really personalizes how you play the game. In fact, the ability to choose your own playstyle is a huge part of Fallout. For example, say you need something from a guy. You can then do a side quest to earn your reward. You can try to smooth talk him depending on your charisma. You can pick his lock and hack into his computer when he's asleep. Or you can just shoot him in his smarmy face and take what you need from his lifeless body. There's a karma system, so these decisions will make you either good or evil, and the world will treat you differently as a result. Be warned, this is not a game for kids. You'll meet some twisted characters, and you yourself can do some pretty messed up things in Fallout 3. While playing as the evil character, I actually found it sometimes morally difficult to be the bad guy. It can get that heavy. This is not just a superficial thing either. It may seem like a good idea to rob the kindly shopkeeper, but she may get fed up and leave permanently. There are also lasting decisions like, say, blowing up a town with a nuke. There are safeguards to avoid you majorly screwing up your progression in the game, but it still helps to use your brain when making decisions. Karma, as they say, is a bitch. The combat is excellent in Fallout 3. Although it may look like a standard shooter at first glance, don't go in thinking that it's Halo. You're not as agile and you can't leap around like a frog on steroids. However, this doesn't matter because it's not meant to be a first person shooter. Accuracy is largely based on your stats, and then there's always the awesome awesome VAT system. This pauses the game and you can then auto-target body parts based on your action points. It may be tempting to just shoot the head for extra damage, but crippling an arm might make someone drop their gun, or taking out their legs will cause them to move slower. A minor gripe is that the camera can sometimes get turned around during these sequences and not give an optimal view, but it's still a very effective and fun way of taking guys out. Oh, and the weapons are flat out cool. Who doesn't like a mini tactical nuke? I can't say enough about just how amazing the whole presentation is. There's an insane attention to detail in this world. The 1950s vibe, American patriotism, the constant reminder that survival is on everyone's mind, it's all great. The world has gone wrong and you'll find yourself completely immersed in this twisted sci-fi universe. Simply exploring the dozens and dozens of structures spread across the wasteland is enough to occupy your full attention for hours. And let me tell you, exploration can be very rewarding in Fallout 3. The sound is also fantastic and the voice acting is great. In terms of graphics, the bleak and realistic art design really works well, and the game is sharp overall. There's some slowdown from time to time, and a few minor bugs here and there, and the character models and animations could be better. However, these small setbacks ultimately don't take away from what is a very gorgeous and fun game. If you are worried about the story, don't be. It's very well structured and focused with wonderful characters. The side missions are fun and interesting, and the game has an awesome climax that we won't spoil for you here. What I found most thrilling is the multiple ways that you can solve each problem you're confronted with. Some can even be skipped entirely if you use your head, or happen to stumble into a lucky situation through your travels. That morbid sense of humor that the Fallout series is known for is also here, and you'll find more of it the deeper you look. Fallout 3 is a game that needs to be experienced. It's rare when so many individual elements tie so well together. It's a challenging game that can typically be beaten in around 20 hours, or less if you rush, but it will take well over 100 hours to see everything. However, do take your time with this one. It's one of the best games you'll play this year. For the full written review, head over to IGN.com.